hello friends in this video now we will start the magnetostatics and in last uh, video we have finished the electrostatics so we will start the first topic of the magnetostatics that is the biosevert law so magnetostatics is the study of magnetic fields in system where the currents are steady means they are not changing with the time and as we know that the current carrying wire creates a magnetic field and if the direction of the magnetic field is represented by the thumb the fingers will tell us about the direction of the magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field can be calculated using the biosevert law and it is an equation which describe the magnetic field generated by a constant electric current and it relates the magnetic field to the magnitude direction length and proximity of the electric current and the biosevert law is fundamental law in magnetostatics which have the similar role as the coulomb's law play in the electrostatics and the biosevert law for a current carrying loop or wire if we want to get the magnetic field at a distance r and if we take a very small line segment dl prime then the magnetic field is given by the biosevert law using this formula b equal to mu not by 4 pi integral i cross r cap by r square dl prime and it is can be written as mu not by 4 pi i integral dl prime cross product r cap divided by r square and the integration is along the current path and in the direction of the flow dl prime is the element small line element along the wire and r is the vector from source to point r and mu not is a constant which is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 newton per ampere square it is known as mu not is known as the permittivity no that is permeability of free space and now we have to apply the biosevert law to find the magnetic field at a distance s from a long straight wire which is carrying a steady current i so we have a wire long wire i is flowing in this wire and we have to find at point p the magnetic field strength which is at a point distance small s and the, this line we take a small line segment which make angle theta 1 and theta 2 initial angle is theta 1 and final angle is theta 2 so we use the biosevert law to find out the magnetic field at point p first we have to write the magnetic field equal to mu not i by 4 pi integral dl prime cross r cap divided by r square this is the biosevert law and uh, the magnitude of this dl cross dl prime cross r cap equal to magnitude of dl prime into magnitude of r uh, cap into sin theta that is a cross b equal to ab sin theta and dl prime and r uh, r cap magnitude is usually unit vector the magnitude of the unit vector is 1 sin alpha can be written in terms of theta because uh, alpha equal to 90 plus theta so sin 90 plus theta is, it will give us cos theta so it is dl prime cos theta now we have this triangle this side is l prime this is s base is s and this angle is theta and this hypotenuse is r and perpendicular is l prime so tan theta is equal to perpendicular divided by base l prime by s so l prime will be s tan theta and dl prime if we differentiate it s sec square theta d theta or sec square theta can be written as 1 upon cos square theta s upon cos square theta d theta now cos theta again in this angle uh, triangle cos theta is equal to s by r cos theta is equal to base by Uh, hypotenuse so s by r or 1 upon r square can be written as cos square theta by s square now in this equation we can replace all these values from equation number 2 uh, 3 2 uh, 4 and 5 we we have to put dl prime and uh, this dl, uh, dl prime cos theta and 1 upon r square in this equation and we will have uh, this in simple simple form mu not i by 4 pi this is dl prime s by cos square theta d theta 
cos theta d theta and cos square theta by s square and the this limit will go from theta 1 to theta 2 the initial angle to final angle theta 1 was the this uh, uh, initial of the uh, line segment and theta 2 is the final this point so mu naught by i mu naught i by 4 pi s theta 1 to theta 2 this uh, cos square theta will be cancelled out only uh, we will have uh, cos theta d theta and 1 s will be in denominator that can be also taken out so it is only cos theta d theta and the integral of cos theta is equal to sin theta so if we put the limit it will be sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1 so b equal to mu naught i by 4 pi s sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1 so this is the magnitude of uh, magnetic field uh, for uh, for a wire and in case of the infinite wire if uh, the the length of the wire is long then uh, theta 1 equal to minus pi by 2 and theta 2 will be plus pi by 2 and if we put the values here theta 1 and theta 2 we will get 1 minus minus 1 that is 2 so mu naught i by 4 pi s into 2 that is mu naught i by 2 pi s and this is the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field will will be in phi cap direction so b vector or magnetic field vector is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi s in phi cap direction so this is how we can find out the uh, magnetic field for an infinite wire or long wire uh, using the bio sievert law so uh, this in this in next topic we will discuss the uh, magnetostatics uh, uh, the next part that is ampere's law and the application of the ampere's law and in previous video we, we have discussed the laplace and poisson equation that is the part that was the part of the electrostatics so in next video we will discuss the magnetostatics in detail thank you very much uh, thanks for watching the video.